Welcome everyone, it's Philip here. In today's video I would like to talk a bit about the most important things that happened in the crypto world in recent days. But before we're gonna start, just bear in mind that everything you're gonna hear in this video is just my private opinion and it's not a financial advice. Okay then, so the current market cap is $134 billion and Bitcoin cost $3918 and is currently 0.26% up in the last 24 hours. If we have a look on the top cryptocurrencies according to market cap, we can clearly see that in the last 7 days most of the project went up and we've got some nice gains for Stellar, 25% over 25% and everything is due to um, small rebranding as Stellar changed its logo. Also, we've got some nice gains for Cardano that gained nearly 11%, also Dash over 7%, and IOTA nearly 6%. First news for today. Germany follows Russia, government to outline crypto strategy by mid-2019. The cabinet of Germany has revealed that it will introduce a blockchain strategy for the country by mid-2019, which follows decisions by other countries such as Russia to introduce clear regulations on the validity and status of cryptocurrency in their respective countries. At the same time, the European Commission aims to develop a common approach on blockchain technology for the EU in the international area. Switzerland records first real estate deal on blockchain. The first real estate transaction on blockchain has been successfully completed in Switzerland. The feat was achieved by BlockImmo Ltd, a blockchain property transaction platform in collaboration with two other companies. We've got very good news that comes from Argentina as Argentinian government will invest in blockchain projects backed by Binance Labs. The government of Argentina is set to invest in early stage blockchain startups backed by the venture arm of cryptocurrency exchange Binance. The country's Ministry of Production and Labor announced Wednesday that it will match investments of up to $50,000 into every Argentinian blockchain project that will receive funding from Binance Labs via the second season of its incubator program. From another hand, we've got not so good news that comes from France, as France is planning to ban anonymous cryptocurrencies. Also, Texas is planning to do exactly the same thing. As we can read on newsbtc.com, Texas wants to ban anonymous crypto. Texas Republican Rep Phil Stevenson has introduced a bill draft that would require Texans to identify themselves before they use crypto assets like Bitcoin. Warren Buffett yet again criticized Bitcoin, calling it a delusion. The 88-year-old billionaire and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway has openly expressed his skepticism towards cryptocurrencies. And yet again, Buffett is seen repeating his views in an interview with CNBC's Becky Quick saying Bitcoin has no real value at all. As we can read on GoCryptoWise.com, 41% of global tech companies will most likely implement blockchain in the next three years. In a recent release survey made by KMPG, where global leaders in the tech industry are asked about innovations in their areas, it seems clear that many companies are looking to implement blockchain technology in the coming years. 41% very likely to implement blockchain technology in the coming 3 years, 31% was neutral and 28% not likely to. As we can read on CryptoVest.com, Jack Dorsey, Twitter CEO, is buying 10k in Bitcoin every week. In a recent episode of the Tales from the Crypto podcast, Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey revealed that he is periodically accumulating Bitcoin to the tune of $10,000 per week. Bitgrail CEO must repay $170 million in missing funds. In February of last year, the Bitgrail cryptocurrency exchange suddenly reported that about $187 million worth of nano the exchange was holding for investors magically disappeared. The supposed hack that the exchange's owner Francesco Firano said had taken place could never have been verified and the embattled entrepreneur is now going to pay the price. An Italian court has ordered that Firano make restitution of 170 million to investors. In today's time, exactly 19th of March, Binance will launch another ICO called Seller Network. Tron and Tether partner to issue USDT on the Tron network by second quarter 2019. New car wallet allows automatic IOTA payments. 
A German tech security firm has revealed a new vehicle-based wallet that will allow cars to automatically purchase fuel or charging services with Miota tokens. Brave Browser hits 20 million downloads on Android. Brave, the team behind Brave Browser and popular advertising focused crypto basic attention token has hit a significant milestone making 20 million downloads on Android, according to AppBrain. Litecoin's Lightning Network reaches 1000 channel milestone. Between 40 and 50 banks are expected to announce stellar use in the coming months. Head of blockchain at IBM, Jesse Lan, revealed during IBM Think 2019 that between 40 and 50 banks are expected to join the Stellar-based IBM World Wire service in the next few months. Also, a few days ago, Stellar has changed its logo. So we won't see this fun little looking rocket anymore. From now on, Stellar's logo looks like that. And that's it guys. Thank you very much for listening to me. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave any comment. And see ya in the next one. Bye.